Ganga foreign ministers' meetings today in a hybrid format, as well as for the warm welcome and hospitality extended to, uh, to us and our delegation. It is my great honor and pleasure to co-chair this meeting with His Excellency Jai Shankar, Minister of External Affairs of India. Our meeting today is being convened amidst the fast changing and complexity of the current global and regional environment and other challenges such as slowdown of global economic growth, food and energy security, natural disaster. India has been an important development partner for Mekong countries. We are pleased to note that the significant achievements of mekong Konka cooperation over the past two decades, which have importantly contributed to social economic development in the Mekong region and beyond. During the past years, many activities and projects have been implemented, especially the quick impact project in the fields of education, agriculture, poverty alleviation, and others. Our meeting today provides an excellent opportunity for us to strengthen our relations and cooperation, as well as exchange views on ways forward to further advancing the mekong Gonga cooperation towards a more concrete outcome. With all your support and active contribution, I strongly believe that our meeting today would be crowned with a great success. I thank you. Now I have the honor to invite His Excellency Dr. Jaishenka, my co-chair, to deliver his opening remark. Please, Excellency. Thank you, Excellency. Uh, Excellency Saldra Masai uh, Komasit, co-chair, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs of Lao PDR, distinguished ministers, colleagues, heads of delegation, officials. I'm delighted to welcome you all uh, for the 12th Mekong Ganga Cooperation Ministerial Meeting being held after a gap of two years and the first time in person since the COVID-19 pandemic. My special greetings to our colleague from Vietnam who couldn't join us, but who is there uh, through, uh, through a virtual presence. Uh, I would like to convey my compliments to Lao PDR for their efforts in organizing today's meeting. As MGC co-chair, I would also like to express my particular appreciation to Hello. Thailand check, check, for their check. invaluable support in convening the meeting today uh, in Bangkok. Dear colleagues, the Lower Mekong region holds immense significance for India, both in a historic sense and in a contemporary one. We represent ancient water river civilizations of this continent. Peace and prosperity in the region also plays a pivotal role in realizing Prime Minister Modi's vision of security and growth for all in the region under India's Act East policy. The Mekong-Ganga cooperation holds a special place in this region as the oldest sub-regional cooperation rooted in the rich his historical, geographical, and <coughs> cultural ties among our six member countries. It epitomizes our commitment to build upon our rich heritage and channel our collective aspirations into tangible actions that will positively impact the lives of our citizens. Our commitment extends beyond rhetoric. It is grounded in action. Our various flagship projects, such as the MGC Quick Impact projects that my co-chair referred to, the MGC scholarships, the Centers for Excellence in Software Development and Training, and the MGC Traditional Textile Museum bears testament to a commitment for on-ground implementation. We are also steadfast in our dedication to enhancing comprehensive connectivity within the region through projects like IMT Trilateral Highway and the Kaladan Multimodal Transit Project. These now clearly require a stronger push. India has also welcomed 
the initiative of countries of the Mekong subregion to synergize various developmental initiatives in the region under the ACMEX umbrella. We have become one of the first developmental partners of ACMEX as we see strong synergies in our activities under MGC and the developmental agenda of ACMEX. Through collaborative efforts, we aim to fulfill the uh, contemporary aspirations of our people, fostering an environment of growth, stability, and shared opportunities. Dear colleagues, I look forward to our discussions today on specific areas of cooperation uh, to further strengthen our partnership. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Co-Chair. I thank you. Uh